this is the sketch that I've done so far, and I'm gonna use this stream to kind of like turn it into a more fully realized design. So I like to um, use circles to kind of get these big cartoon shapes out of the way. It's just a lot like neater than trying to do it freehand. Because I want this to be like really simple. I want it to almost be like a logo. What I really should be doing, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna rotate this so that it's all like straight. And then I'll rotate it back once I'm finished. I like to take full advantage of the um, corner radius tool. So I can create something like this a lot easier and smoother using that. So like one thing that I love to use um, in Illustrator that I don't see a lot of other people using is the pencil tool has this like smooth tool, sub, you know, like sub tool. Um, and I use it to like draw stuff kind of messy and then I just kind of go over it and slowly smooth it out. It doesn't always work, but. Okay, so I'm going to turn off turn off the sketch and move the sketch over. The sketch looks obviously much, much better, but that's just because this is the beginning. It's the beginning stages. Uh, okay, so... Stroke. Turn these out a little bit. Would her eyes be more like this? This is very much like Sanrio. Like I'm going for like Sanrio uh, Hazel. This is Hello Hazel. Maybe I should look up some like reference or something. Now, of course I've got to have my Scorpio Metal Queen. <sighs> I'm conflicted. It's like I want to do this in multiple styles. more forehead I think than <laughs> kinda cute but not quite balanced. Um so I actually started using Illustrator when I was making a web like a web comic when I was like in high school. And it was the only like I was a fan of this comic called Real Life Comics, and what they used to make them were, um, it was Illustrator. So, like, I asked the creator, it's like, oh, well, how do you do this? What do you use? And he used Illustrator, so I just, I was like, oh, well, I guess this is how you make comics. And I, I got Illustrator. 
Um, and then I just did the whole thing in Illustrator. And now people tell me, oh, that's crazy. That's a very labor intensive, awful way to draw a comic. Um, and yeah, they're right. <laughs> See, like, if you use the smooth tool on, on this kind of stuff, like, it can make it look a little bit more natural. You can get kind of like a, a nicer curve instead of like one that's a little bit like too geometric. Her ears are really floppy, so I want to make sure they have that floppy kind of kind of feel. See, she's kind of got like significant eyebrows because <laughs> she's a cockapoo. So I'm wondering if I can like work that in, but I feel like it's gonna look too crazy. Like she'll look sad if I try to do like. Okay, wait, I think this might look more like her if I get this right. It needs to be softer, so I might just do it with color. I could so easily turn this into a t-shirt. Like if I do it right, I can get it embroidered. Cute. I like that shape a little better. Okay, keep that. Bring over this other one. to go into like I like to outline everything um expand it all put it all together um and then go in and like buff out all of these corners with the corner radius thing it just makes it look more like natural and it's like smoother um this one's having issues it's not showing up some lines I kind of want to taper. Pretty good. It looks cute. I'm doing it kind of like a Hello Kitty. I really like this, but I would like it more if you were to show more of how heart taped mm. her nose is. I know this might change things, but there's like kind of a dent. Mm. Maybe I'm not. I'm wondering if it's too much detail, but I mean... Maybe not. I don't know. Yeah, I like that. It's kind of cuter. It's, like a it's very subtle. So it's very subtle, yeah. yeah. But so is hers. Mm. It's kind of hard to do, honestly, but... To make it smooth. Oh, it's the model herself. Hey. Hey. She's very <laughs> tall. She's a tall dog. Yes. 
She just walked right up. Yeah. She smells like basil pesto, like my pasta. <laughs> Some of this royalty free music is kind of good. <laughs> I'd listen to this. Okay, um, yeah, I used to uh, do live streams on Instagram and I, I literally stopped doing them because they wouldn't let me play my music anymore. Am I drawing you? Am I drawing you? Are you gonna be a logo? Ooh. <laughs> Who's my little logo? Who's my little logo? The answer is Hazel. This is such an extra step, but like, I really like getting rid of some of these like, really obviously like, I made this an illustrator things and like having com like completely perfectly rounded um, edges on things kind of is one of those giveaways. So I just take the time to like manually kind of taper the lines. I actually think, add, yeah, add a little bit of thickness. Yep. Yep, that looks better. I think it would be cuter if this was even shorter. See, it's starting to look better than the sketch, <laughs> which is good. There's always this period where the sketch looks better, and it's kind of annoying. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm gonna group all this, and then make a new layer. And I'm gonna add some color, which what should the colors be? So like, a sampling and image never works, but she's kind of like a latte. I always forget where the live paint is. There it is, under the shape builder tool for some reason. Um, cute. There we go. I think the white parts are really gonna bring her to life. like little white paws. And the tip of her tail is white. So actually like her whole chest is white too. And her ears are darker. So I kind of want to do something about that. Like No, that's too saturated. Like whole chest and belly is like white, so I'm like, can I? This is gonna connect it. I think it'll make it look really cute, actually. Like, it's almost like. I don't know if that'll work. <laughs> oh, it does look really, really cute. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's really cute. Oh my god, now it looks much better than the sketch. I'm not 100% sure the colors are right, definitely not on the ears. That's better. Okay, I wanna like, in a way, I like mine better. 
Because I'm looking at this and it's like the black lines. Like there's hardly there's hardly any white in these arms. Like it's too much. Cute. That's pretty much it. I mean. Okay, actually, this here could probably be perfected a little bit more. Like Photoshop and Illustrator are just really different programs. So, you know, if you want to make something that looks like this, Illustrator. Um, but if you want to do anything, you know, obviously any like any anything with texture, anything with, you know, varying line widths, anything that, you know, isn't basically like almost a logo. Photoshop. I think that's like people get frustrated because they can't make whatever they want in Illustrator. You just kind of have to have like an idea of <laughs> what you can make and then like embrace that style. Yeah, I'm happy with it. That looks legit. <laughs> I just love like flat colored backgrounds. I think they always make stuff look really good. Look at it. No way. This is so cute. And I put it on my screen, like if I had it like a little Oh no. A little camera or something. It's like a really good logo. I love that. I want it on everything. <laughs> it's so cute. Those guys. Oh yes. Oh my god, that'd be amazing. Yeah. She'd have like I mean if it was the Hazel Funko Pop, she'd be like I don't like that. Hazel, Hazel Funko Pop. No. Uh, <laughs> no. Yeah, it looks, she she like looks like that. she's on drugs. She looks possessed. <laughs> this is like if she did mushrooms. Okay, well, I'm going to log off because Hazel just threw up. <laughs> that, that's She obviously doesn't like it very much. Bye, guys.